Hey everyone, thank you for watching. I want to introduce you to another one of my star students that's just graduating Prosperity Posse, Sarah Cameron. Thank you so much, Sarah, for being willing to share your journey today. Yeah, absolutely. So the women that are watching this are considering Prosperity Posse. They wanna know more about it. They've read through the landing page. And so I just wanna ask you a couple questions about your experience in Prosperity Posse. I know that you've had just massive results and real tangible results. And so what was the biggest result you had inside of Prosperity Posse? The biggest result for me was definitely, was definitely closing the biggest client proposal that I ever, ever gave, that I ever pitched and that I ever received. And just creating the space to do that um, has been amazing. And now that we're in the last month of Prosperity Posse with the clients that I've pitched and closed since beginning, I will have earned 500% of my uh, investment for Prosperity Posse. <laughs> Girlfriend, this makes me so happy. Happy coach moment over here. Um, and then can you share with us what that that client contract was and how soon into Prosperity Posse did things start picking up for you and what was that number? Was the biggest number? For sure. Yeah. It was it was in the first month. I can't remember if it was three or four weeks in, but it was in the first month of doing Prosperity Posse. And I started, I pitched to work with a couple. And um, I don't even remember what numbers I was charging before, but it was so nominal compared to my biggest contract, which was $7,500 mm -hmm. for four months of work. And it really felt so aligned and so clear when it came through. It was like, yes, this is what I'm supposed to charge. I feel good about it. They feel solid in their investment with me. And it's just been magic ever since. Mm, gosh, that makes me so happy. Just considering the first call we had, and I know how much you wanted to have this big breakthrough, and just you wanted to serve people, you wanted to show up, you wanted to a lot a whole new amount of time in your calendar to be able to show up and serve clients. And so, can you share with people what it is that you actually do? Yeah, absolutely. So, I'm a mindset, manifestation, and relationship coach, and even that, as I'm continuing to go through Prosperity Posse in these last few weeks, I'm integrating more and more and more of my skill set into what it is that I do, which, was, which has been one of the most magical takeaways, um, has been integrating all of these different aspects of what it is that I do. And so I help people improve their relationship with themselves and with the people in their lives that they want better relationships with, whether that's romantic partners or friends or family. Big, big, big results too, and that's what I love about you is that you really, you really have clients that come out the other side having what they want and what they said they want coming to you. Um, so I'm gonna just ask you a couple more questions here. So describe that to um, to people and to me now where you were before Prosperity Posse. So what mental state you were in, the financial, and then you know having to make the decision of being in Prosperity Posse. What was that like for you? So bring us into the the weeks and days before Prosperity Posse. Yeah, for sure. Um, I was most definitely stuck emotionally, financially, mentally, I was stuck. I felt like I had done everything that I knew how to do with my business and I still wasn't anywhere close to where I wanted to be. And um, I'd been coaching on my own for a while and I knew, really knew that I had the skills to be able to deliver people results and to be able to be a really life-changing coach. And I just wasn't having, I wasn't making the money that I wanted and I wasn't serving the, the number or the kind of people that I wanted to. And uh, so that's where I was at the beginning of Prosperity Posse. And it was, it was like bottom is kind of a little dramatic, but I definitely felt stuck and just didn't really know where to go or what to do. And I know that it was a big deal for you to make the investment in Prosperity Posse. And so what had you make that investment? What had you be an actual yes? And what was that thinking process leading up to it? For sure. Yeah. I, um, I had invested in myself or my business for quite a while or invested in any additional trainings or anything. And I was so stuck in like scarcity mindset and fear of, well, what if I do it? Or, you know, I've tried this and that didn't pay off and I've done this. And like, I just didn't really, I didn't feel like I had anybody out there that I could look to and trust to really help me do what it was that I wanted to do. And Julie, you and I have been friends and kind of floating in each other's social circles for a couple of years now. And 
we actually had talked about coaching a couple of years ago and I was still stuck in that scarcity mindset. And then at the end of last year, towards the end of last year in October, when we spoke, I had seen everything that you had done with your business since the first time we had talked about coaching and how well and how authentically you had built it and how solid it looked and knowing the kind of person that you are and knowing how much you really truly care about people and wanting to see them thrive and grow and seeing the success that you had had with your business and the fact that it was sticking it wasn't like you know there's some people out there they're like oh yeah i made this much amount of money in this amount of time and but then you don't ever hear from them ever again <laughs> um i had seen you build a sustainable business for yourself and for me that was really the deciding factor is i was going to work with somebody who i knew i could trust and I knew that they had done it for themselves. And they're other past that, it was just like, okay, I know that I know that I can invest this money in myself and I know that I deserve it right now. I know that I'm stuck and I know that I can trust Jolie to get me to where it is that I want to go. Mm -hmm. mm, thank you for saying all that, dear. And I've seen the same thing online, like people declare something and then it's like, wait, where did they go? Or <laughs> they're just always changing what their business is. Mm -hmm. And if the one, you know, one thing I tri attribute my success to is being very clear in my communication about what I do and sticking to it and not changing and not going in a bunch of different directions. So thanks for noticing that. Um, so uh, what would you say has been the biggest results, uh, financially in your choice of working with me? I know you rec you said 500%, um, but then like how has actually money and finances changed as a result from being in this program? Um, my relationship with money has completely changed being, being a relationship coach. I, I kind of look at everything through the lens of relationships. So, uh, relate money and money and I were on rough terms. <laughs> I started Prosperity Posse. We were really talking. <laughs> um, and, and now after going through Prosperity Posse and changing, really changing my money mindset, not just, not just, you know, creating the opportunity and like a solid opportunity for me to invest in myself, but my own money story and my relationship with money has changed in such a significant way. Um, that's been huge. And it's, you know, it's really helped me to create the relationship that I want to with money and we're going steady. It's going pretty well. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to hang out for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much because it is a relationship and there are tools in prosperity posse to really see that and get that is a relationship and you have to be responsible for that relationship. And so even just before this call, when you were chatting that you just got another new client and girl and just celebrating you is so amazing because it is a huge leap from our first call where there was just was highly emotional and you did feel stuck and so it's just it's such a joy to see you here yeah. um what about okay there's this thing inside of prosperity posse that i always have a really interesting time trying to communicate with people but it's this thing about turning on your magic where things are happening things are flowing it's kind of just like unexpected miracles and just being in that divine flow and so how would you say that you've turned on your magic so to speak inside of prosperity posse and what does that mean to you i think that for me turning on my magic looks like excuse me what i kind of touched on earlier which is just being able to integrate all parts of me and so for me that means being able to create um being able to integrate the soulful side of me the spiritual side of me this psychological side of me all of these things coming together and having them just line up in a really beautiful way and being able to use those in a way that feels easy and that doesn't it feels natural it feels aligned it doesn't feel forced it doesn't feel sticky or weird or anything like that and so for me being able to turn on my magic looks like being able to use my skills in alignment with ease and that's what that looks like for me and that's absolutely what's been created out of prosperity posse and doing the work in it and something else that i feel like is really a part of that too is this emotional piece that gets um that gets kind of put into place it's the emotional side of the money situation of like the money mindset, which is knowing that what I feel like I can charge, I can. And knowing that I am going to deliver and knowing that my clients are going to pay and knowing that they're going to show up. Mm -hmm. And that's another piece of, of the magical, you know, mindset that comes out of it. And it's that emotional component of just knowing that what I think I'm worth, I actually am because I am using all of my skills in alignment with ease. Yeah. 
Yeah, and a lot of people have reported in Prosperity Posse just having this whole breakthrough in confidence and being able to show up in high-end proposals. And now your minimums are $5,000, which was a number that was just way out there for you before. And now it's just so close and it's real and it's palpable and it's what people are paying. And um, and then, you know, how, how do you get to show up differently inside of these high-end, you know, multiple four-figure contracts? Yeah, being able to, being able to show up in a bigger way has been a really big deal. It's been, I'm able to create more space in my schedule because I'm not clamoring to take single session clients anymore. I'm not worried about like, oh, well, I need to clear an hour for this person and they're gonna pay me a hundred dollars. It's like, no, I can have the day or the morning or the hour before I actually sit with my client, whether it's in person or via Zoom, to really clear space, to really call in the information and the intuition that I need to better guide them during the session. And that's been a really big deal. And I feel like it's benefited my clients in such a big way. And it calls on them to show up there. I'm not having people client like um, cancel or flake or like there's just not any weirdness that shows up because they've got serious skin in the game and they know that they've made this investment in themselves and they know that I'm putting in the time and the effort and the energy in the big way that I am. And so they're going to show up just the same. Gosh, I love that. And it's so true. There's a big shift that happens when you go from like uncommitted clients and flaky clients and wondering if they're going to come onto their calls. And when somebody's really financially invested and they've said yes to a multi four figure, even five figure contract, the way that they show up is different. The way you show up is different. And it's just the whole game becomes so much more fun. And you know, I feel so passionate about helping coaches and consultants and service-based business owners get out of that paradigm of one-off sessions and packages and get these retainer rates. So you can just really feel comfortable in your business. And so it's just so happy that you've done that. Yeah. Well, and the beautiful thing is, is, and this is maybe part of the magic piece too, is that I had set the intention that by the end of the year, I wasn't going to have any more single session clients and they all just kind of disappeared themselves. (laughs) Yeah. I didn't even have to, I didn't even end up having the conversation with people. It just, I like, they they just took care of themselves and I was like, okay, great. Thank you. of energetic beingness you know like it's just in your space when you're calling in something things can shift and show up and when we allow the quantum field to work for us we can have all these things unfold with ease and it doesn't have to be this traumatic firing of your clients and like i'm upping my prices and it's going to be this much more it's just like it's just so much more of a flow and it doesn't have to be so hard either Um, so what would you say about anything in particular that you appreciated in me and how I showed up as a coach and a facilitator in the process with you? Yeah, I, something that I really appreciated about you and the way that you showed up is that the content was always fresh and it was always up to date. And, um, like there are some people out there I know who do some programs and they're using the same videos that they shot over a year ago or in the first in the first series of it now they're on like series six or whatever it is and you're constantly bringing in and adding new resources even if it wasn't something that was in the the video that you send out it was something that you would send us later you're like hey i found this new thing and i wanted to send it to you ladies or you'll post it in the facebook group Mm -hmm. and there's something very cool about that because it showed your commitment and your engagement to us and to our success and the introduction of all of these cool different resources, whether it was a video on YouTube or, um, you know, bringing in an energetic coach to work with everybody in one session, like those kind of introductions to resources that are out there to help us continue this momentum was really helpful. And I love how you curated the groups, like you really selected really, um, really just amazing, an amazing group of women and we've all become pretty close and text each other and you know hang out in the Facebook group and stuff like that. So it's been a really great experience. Yeah, thanks for mentioning that. And that is something that's so important to me is that I put people into a group where they're at the same, a similar place in their business. So I'm not putting in like advanced people with beginners because it's just like, it's just your different places. And so it's really important to me to have a very specific group of people in Prosperity Posse where you can support each other and it is a sisterhood and you do feel very supported along the process. And so thanks for speaking into that. And it's so cool to watch lifelong friends happen. And you officiated a wedding of one of the women in Prosperity Posse, like just mind blowing to me, the lifelong connections in this rich, rich soul sisterhood that's inside the Prosperity Posse. 
Um, and so, Sarah, what would you say to the woman who may be still watching this that is considering if Prosperity Posse is for her? She may be like scared of the financial commitment or if she has time or what would you say to the woman who's just still like living in a little bit of fear to, for choosing Prosperity Posse? Yeah, I would say if you if you feel like you're you've done everything that you know how to do with your business and you feel still feel like you're as we say in prosperity or as we used to say in prosperity posse on the um on the struggle bus. <laughs> <laughs> and none of us are on the struggle bus anymore. So when we used to be on the struggle bus, if you are there right now, then um, just know that the investment that you make is going to be it's gonna come back to you. And as long as you stay open to receiving the coaching and you do all the assignments and you show up, then you're going to receive amazing, the amazing opportunity for growth. And I know that the other women in Prosperity Posse have grown in really big ways. I myself experienced, again, a 500% return on investment from Prosperity Posse, which is huge. And I just don't know where else those numbers exist in other business coaching programs. Um, so know that you're going to be taken care of and know that you're going to be able to show up and you're going to be able to be you. You get to ask questions. You get to have that, you know, those one-on-one -on -one laser sessions and um, in the beginning to really set you going off in the right direction. And you get that continuous support from all the other women and from Jolie. And I don't, I'm so, so happy that I invested in myself and my business in this way. And I really hope that you give yourself the opportunity and you create the space and time to do the same for yourself. Mm -hmm. Gosh, it makes me so happy and it's true. Like, I think there's just too many programs online where the participants are just a number, you know? I think that like there's courses that have thousands and thousands of people and you never get to talk to the facilitator. You don't get one-on-one -on -one support. And I care so much about everybody having the result and that nobody gets less behind, left behind. And that's why I have such big results in my program uh, because of how much I care and think about you guys and add additional resources. And I, I, I really show up in a way Way that I want everybody in this course to model in a way that I really would want them to show up for their clients. And so um, thank you so much. Again, thank you so much for showing up so fully in Prosperity Posse and being a star student, being a light and such a resource for everybody. And I just really appreciate you showing up today even to share with the next class of Prosperity Posse what's truly possible for them. Totally. Absolutely. Love you, sweetness. Thanks again.